Thurston County median home prices reach half a million dollars and there's no end in sight. Meanwhile, Mason, Lewis, and Grace Harbor counties are experiencing uh, price resistance as they head towards 400k. This real estate market update for March 2022. As I mentioned, the Thurston County is just $50 away from the half million dollar mark for median home prices. Uh, you can see this is up 18.5% from uh, February of 2021. And uh, all counties have experienced uh, increases. Uh, Grace Harbor, the greatest increase by far at 30% uh, higher median price at 355000 so we look at the uh, trends, and Thurston uh, continues on a strong upward trend. Uh, we're gonna have just keep watching that, and right now uh, it doesn't look like uh, you know it's gonna end anytime soon. Meanwhile, we are seeing the other counties starting to level off, and interestingly, uh, they're all converging on about three hundred and seventy thousand uh, dollars median uh, home price. So, what does this mean in terms of uh, homes uh, coming to market? Uh, we see that, that we have a nice uptick in February, which we anticipated based on, you know, uh, last year and, pre and previous year's uh, trends. And so, we can expect this to spike up uh, into at least uh, June or July. Uh, all counties are experiencing higher starting uh, home uh, listings uh, this year than we had last year. Not uh, a significant amount, but uh, but at least uh, it's it's in the positive range. Uh, however, if we look at the pending sales, we see that oh my goodness, it's the same graph, which means that the homes are selling as fast as they're coming to market, which is probably no surprise and which we have been experiencing for uh, at least the last year, year and a half. So coming to market and pending sales. So what this uh, means for buyers is uh, you uh, need to have your uh, loan approvals ready to go. I have your uh, lender approval letter ready to go so when you do find a home that you like uh, you're able to make that offer quickly and um, and show the sellers you know that you're, you're able to perform now what's the home uh, homes for sale look like well because they're selling as fast as they're coming to market and maybe a little faster we, it, we're having seeing a downward trend in the homes available uh, for sale uh, at this time uh, now we did see that it went up a little bit when we hit the peak uh, periods uh, last year but uh, but right now a lot of downward pressure on uh, homes available for sale uh, interestingly grace harbor has more homes for sale 146 uh, than thurston and uh, I was kind of curious about that, so I looked up, you know, the Grace Harbor uh, homes and to see, you know, what, the, what was happening there and found that most of the home sales are in Ocean Shores. So we got a few at Pacific Beach, uh, but look at Ocean Shores has this most of this page, all of the next page, which is 50, 50 homes showing on this page. And then, uh, then it starts to, to wind down. Uh, we do have a few homes in Hoquiam. And you can see, you know, kind of the price ranges in here. So uh, anything from under 100 to uh, 500. And Aberdeen has a few homes. And then a couple in Alma, Cosmopolis. Uh, Montesano actually had more than I expected, uh, given the small population there. <clears throat> continues on this side and then uh, then a few in Westport 
but really the the homes uh were being driven by uh ocean shores so if you've been uh, kind of looking out that way or looking to, to get out of the the uh the cities uh, now would be a good time to look uh, because you're probably not going to have as much competition and it looks like you have uh, quite a bit of selection okay a couple of other indicators i like to uh, check out is the percentage of original sales price kind of tells me you know what the competition's looking like for homes and for uh, Mason Lewis, Grace Harper, they're pretty much selling at the uh, original list price. Uh, Mason is showing uh, a little bit of a, a reduction here, 1.1% uh, under the original list price. And what that tells me is uh, that <clears throat> those sellers are coming to the market a little more aggressively and uh, buyers aren't, um, aren't going to pay uh, what they're asking and so uh, they're having to sell a little bit less than what they what they're asking for Thurston on the other hand uh, starting to tick up again uh, now last year it got up to 6.9 nearly 7 percent above asking is what the homes were selling for and this uh, and so far in February they're only a half a percent less than they were uh, last year as far as the trend and so uh so this could easily go up into that um, six seven percent range again so what this means uh, for you buyers is you're going to need to look for homes that are two to five percent less than what you actually qualify for so that you can bid up to the amount that you're qualified for because if you're looking at homes in the price range that you're approved for uh, chances are you're going to be outbid because you don't have any upside uh, to, in your offer okay so just be aware of that uh, another indicator I like to check is the days on market and all of them for this February are up compared to last year but when we're talking about Thurston uh, this 25% increase is simply going from four days to five days, so really not much of a change there. And uh, just shows that, again, they're just flying uh, off the uh, the market uh, in Thurston County. Now, there is some uh, bump in uh, Mason, Lewis, and Grace Harbor. Uh, look at the Lewis, up uh, <clears throat> almost twice as uh, long. Uh, this February uh, as they were last February uh, as far as uh, time on the market so uh, an interesting trend there and Grace Harbor uh, 19 also 19 days on the market and uh, so we'll just have to see as we get into the um, buying season if that holds uh, sometimes it's just a few homes that it, are hard to sell and they tend to bring the the average up if we go back to the uh, Grace Harbor numbers uh, we can see that uh, there's quite a few homes that are been on the market for a long time 180 days so that's like you know six months uh, 140 days 750 days so some there's a few of these homes that are uh, bringing that average up quite a bit Okay, can we still see that there are some homes that you know sell for two day in two days seven days eight days so something to, to be aware of there All right so uh, so a lot of pressure for buyers uh, trying to, to find a home uh, not a lot of uh, positive news from the the trends uh, this month uh, but we are uh, and the other items that we're tracking are the interest rates and uh, in we've already experiencing the inflation with the increase in the sales prices and so as interest rates go up it's going to make it harder to afford uh, the homes that you currently qualify for so one of the uh, indicators that tells us where our interest rates going is the 10-year treasury rate and uh, it was it had bumped up early this year but now uh, it took a bit of a dip and then just a little bit of a bump up uh, last week. 
So, uh, so that's encouraging that they haven't gone, they're not going straight up and, you know, there's still some opportunity to, to get uh, some of the lower interest rates. So what are the, how does that translate into interest rates? Well, we're looking at the uh, Freddie Mac uh, mortgage uh, trends and we see that the 30 year fixed mortgage uh, with the Freddie Mac is uh, 3.76%. So still uh, under 4% and uh, which is very good and, and part of, you know, this historical lows that uh, we've been experiencing. So uh, haven't gone too crazy yet, but they are on the move. Um, and what's the forecast? We talked uh, a little bit about this uh, in last month and we see that uh, the headlines of our, 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 our mortgage rates going up. Uh, Powell expects a quarter point Fed rate hike this month, this month being March. Uh, Fed to raise rates. Federal Reserve expect three interest rate hikes in 2022. So, uh, so still, so it puts um, more pressure on uh, you buyers for uh, for trying to find something and find something uh, quickly, uh, <clears throat> even though uh, houses are, are selling quickly. Uh, however, all the news isn't bad. There are government programs available to help with uh, down payment assistance. And, And so I'd like to uh, refer you to a video I just made regarding some of these down payment assistance programs. Uh, in the video, uh, I explain you know, where the money comes from, how to apply, uh, and and uh, and how to determine uh, how what programs you may qualify for. And so some of these, you know, are grants which you don't have to pay back. Some are uh, down payment loans. And so anyway, there's quite a, quite a bit out there. So you can check and see, you know, if those uh, may be helpful for you <laughs> shopping. So that uh, wraps it up for March and uh, good luck out there uh, in the market.